What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're going to be trying to do a, I guess, frustration video about the recent events, and more importantly, about next week's upcoming Soul Awakening Gala and Soul Awakening Session. Uh, I want to just kind of put this out there so that even the DH Games development team can understand where we as a player base comes from, and especially me, because I feel like I can understand both free-to-play, low spender, and very big spender very well because well i do all of those things in this game and i can understand this week why free to play and low spenders are probably the most angry but even me as a spender like i don't go crazy on the solo awakening sessions but i still spend a decent amount of money and i feel like this solo awakening session is probably one of the worst things we've seen in quite a while beyond that we're going to be talking about some of the frustrations with some of the most recent events and the reward structures of them so hopefully you guys enjoy this one leave a constructive comment down below however long you want because we will be sending this on to dh games and hopefully they get a little bit more insight uh kind of from us as the more active player in idle heroes hopefully you guys enjoy this one let's get going <laughs> So let's immediately start out with the good because I, I feel like everybody in general would say they appreciate this. The fact that we never had a 200 point tier item in the Soul Awakening Gala always felt a little bad because you go to like 150 normally if you want the half sublimation chest uh, and then you went to 200 for the Gala but then you didn't get anything really out of it besides the session portion of it. Sorry, yeah, the session. Uh, but... I think a lot of people, if they were already going for 200, they would try for 300, which of course would be the better option, going for the sublimation chest or the half core of origin chest, something like that. And then 600, I, I think we can all understand, not many people go for the 600 chest, just the people who are pretty spending quite a bit, because this takes like 100 plus soul awakenings, and that's not something an average player can typically do. So the fact that they added the 200, that is amazing, and that's something I think you, we should see over time these events should get better as more power systems come out they should be giving the earlier game power systems much easier just like this 500k that's literally like worth what 30 cores basically in spheres uh for stellar shards so that's good i think that is an amazing thing however then taking it and removing or sorry and adding the 301 to 1000 and the 1001 to max columns is completely unnecessary and honestly just not fair the whole point of players especially free to play and low spender saving is because of the fact that b plus crystals exist and ever since we started getting them late last year you can't give it to us and then take it away because then that feels like a punishment you you have to keep it you have to keep making things better because guess what this isn't the end-all be-all system anymore there's destiny transitions and i'm sure later this year there's going to be another power system coming out so gatekeeping these older systems is not healthy for the game it really isn't it's definitely not healthy for the mental state of players this stuff like this will make players burn out and it'll make them be like, well, I guess there's no point even saving because the only way I even have a minute small chance of getting a giant killer hero copy is these B plus stones. And I think that is the main thing to know is the whole reason why we covet these B plus stones so much is especially as a free to play because you're literally not spending anything. But even as low spenders, this is like your one or two chances a year to try to get a giant killer copy to help you progress through the game and i think that is the most important part here is if you're going to do stuff like this then you need to start giving away b plus stones just like you do uh sublimation chests in bigger events like they need to be acquirable if this is going to be the decision moving forward the only thing i can say is okay at anniversary free to play better have a chance to get one or two of these at the very least the next holiday that comes up you should be able to get at least one of these with the sublimation chest or a core of origin chest so as far as this event goes the fact that we can't just get 200 points and get a b plus stone now is probably the worst news we've heard this year in idle heroes like it legit is we already waited four months for another solo awakening session to come around that was normally on a two-month rotation we waited double that amount of time and then on top of that 
we're not getting B plus known. I think that is the biggest frustration you'll hear from players. Uh, and honestly, if you can change this before the event goes live, I know DH Games is going on holiday for the rest of the week. In China, there's a national holiday. If you can get rid of these bottom two tiers before the event goes live, that would honestly give so much faith restored back to the community, especially the more loyal community because let's be honest the people who watch videos the who are on reddit we're a small portion of the community of the overall idol hero gamers but we are the most passionate and honestly probably some of the more most spenders i would have to say out of the community so even if it means getting rid of this 200 point mark here if you want to revert this go get rid of the 200 point mark but get rid of these bottom two tiers i think everybody would be fine with that they would be perfectly fine if you want to have some good faith then keep this 200 point mark and then also remove the bottom two so we can get our b plus stones now beyond that i do want to say one thing that this event that we've received this past week is a decent structure for free-to-play players i think i i, I kind of like the fact that free-to-play could get two items one very inexpensive for like 400 coins the other one you kind of need to do everything uh, but this was a very nice step in the right direction. The only request I feel like the player base would have is do similar events to this. This this is a good structure. Do it so that you can get two items for using all loops, but also have one very easily obtainable for newer free-to-play players and stuff like that so they don't feel like they're missing out. Because let's be honest, you need so many Core of Origins and Sublimation Chests it just start throwing them left right and center it's not going to hurt the bottom line i don't think like it's just going to let people who are free to play stay active in the game and continue to build a better community overall so that's the first part number two is can we please get more wishing coin and profit orb events like maybe every other month have either wish or every month have either wishing coin or profit orbs be a good event like this because i feel like a lot of players have saved up like a ton of profit orbs or wishing coins because there's just been a lack of decent events overall so if you could do that make one month wishing coin the next month like profit orb and kind of alternate that way no you know free to play is not gonna be able to do every single one but then they can choose which one they have and not wait four to six months down the road to cash their resources in and get some good rewards i feel like we're slipping backwards on the number of good events we have like in 20 early 2023 i feel like normal events were actually better than even some holiday events which were surprising but it felt good that you could pick when to go in on your resources and not wait half a year just to do profit orbs so i hope i kind of described what you guys are feeling as well from the most recent events and of course the upcoming soul awakening gala and soul awakening session i feel like i'm pretty on point with what you guys feel but again leave constructive comments down below leave your feedback be like this is good this is bad please change this please change this and we're gonna pass this on to dh games and hopefully they understand a little bit more about what the player base wants because i even saw on wechat on the chinese wechat the chinese wechat players are also really annoyed the fact that the b plus stone is not acquirable by everybody so hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time